We're back with some Code Blue Cam, one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Link always down below in the description if you guys want to go show them some love. All of their content seems to come from Wisconsin. Again, I don't know if that's just where they're located, if that's where it's the easiest place to get body cam footage, but they be making Wisconsin seem crazy. A little bit crazier than even Florida sometimes. So let us dive in. This one is called The Burglar. Never saw it coming. I would recommend that you don't burglarize people. It's probably in your best interest, but not everybody's going to listen. On December 21st, 2022, police were dispatched to a residence in response to a burglary in progress in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. The caller was at the home in the basement and witnessed, via surveillance camera, a male subject enter the home. The male was later identified as 40-year-old Christopher Lamb. Come on, Chris. It's that house right there. Okay. That one right there. I mean, Chris Lamb out here violent. Chris to make garage door in Upon approaching the home, officers discovered a fresh set of footprints in the snow, which led from the driveway to the back of the house. Yes, along the side. I'll move around the back. You want to watch the front until someone gets here? The officer in front heard noises from inside the garage and observed Christopher open the door with a bag full of items. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. As the officer pointed his firearm at him, he immediately complied and laid on the ground. Got one up there? Yep. Can't go. I'm the only one here. Oh. Oh, I'm not fighting. Oh. Door 116 headquarters, we have one in custody. Four times you came to the same place, unbelievable. Here. Four times? Uh, what? Oh. What did these people got in their house that this man came here four times? I'm pretty sure that's what he just said. I, I'm guessing that they're gonna elaborate on that, but that's, it's a little bit weird. What's your name, bud? Yeah. Chris what? Lamb. Chris Lamb? Yeah. Hmm. Want to pull your squad up? Yeah. Nora 116 headquarters in for a house. It appeared Christopher had entered from the back deck after the door frame had been broken. The caller stated he went into the basement of the home when he heard the intrusion. Headquarters to Nora 116. Is it okay if the caller comes upstairs now? Tempo. Uh -huh. Doing all right, Chris? Yeah. I'll put my face on these rocks. <clears throat> I think he's about his face being on the rocks. Let me move some of the stuff out of the way. Yeah, go, go, go towards, towards the wall and sit up. So you have not been here? No, I don't know. Okay. These people aren't very lucky, apparently. What, what's that? Apparently these people are unlucky. Okay. Four times? Um, Give us a minute, I'll talk if it's to you not him, that, that's really Christopher weird. Christopher was also carrying an orange duffel bag that had several items inside, all of which were from the home. Am I not coming through on the radio? No, you're not. Oh. Good morning. Do you look through here at all? I did. I was just getting in your car. Make contact with the uh, owner. Uh, uh. You search him? Okay. Step back in. Separate your feet. Anything uh, that's on you, you can pull, please stick me. This was the second time Christopher had burglarized the same residence in two weeks. Okay, so, okay. At least two times. Do you know him at all? Nope. I'm gonna take that face shield off of him and see if he guy that was here last week. Oh. Yep, that's him. Okay. He was here before? Yeah, he was here last week. Okay. Who do they got, gold in the house? What, what, if you got caught trying to burglarize it a week ago, 
I, I, is it the thought process just like, well, they're never going to think it's me again. They're never going to expect it back to back. Like, well, I'm just so blown away. The cop even said four times. I'm, I'm still slightly confused as to what exactly is going on. Because if let's just say it was four times and this guy came twice. Then what are the other two times? And why is everybody trying to rob these people? Of all, you know, this, I don't know. Some, something, something doesn't seem right. I didn't come in here. Yeah. I didn't come in here at all. Okay. So he's actually come here before, huh? Yeah. So he's, he's they've had like three burglaries. I looked here, it up on the way here, like just before I started this way. It was like third one this month. Interviews for probation, right? Yeah. You know, hold him on the burglary. Yeah. Yeah. What's the story with this house? I it's the know. third burglary this month. Does the vic does the guy live here? Mm -hmm. No, no ties to it at all. This isn't like a rental, and this is the victim, and he, but he lives here. Mm -hmm. The victim lives here. I, that's my understanding. It's like two adults and a kid. The kid was a caller, the teenager or something. I bet it wasn't the father that was here that called. So really, yeah. I don't know. If it was just an weird. Easy card. Eau Claire Police Department. Will you come upstairs? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get done. Okay. Okay, your son, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. I never met you. I met your dad last week here. So, yeah, this in individual, obviously, you don't know him. I, I haven't seen his face, so I don't know. Okay. Do you know a Christopher Lamb? <sighs> I don't think so, no. Okay. All right. Well, he's in custody. He's got some stuff out here, so I'm going to bring it back in. I need to take some photos and stuff. Okay. You can tell me if it's your guys', which I'm guessing it is. So I'll be right back. Are you doing all right? A little, a little shaky, freaky, but, isn't it? Yeah. What the hell is going on? Uh, well, we got him. You got that fucker? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Pops. Well, you're on speaker, so you might want to watch your words. Because yeah. you're not on here, but... So that, was, that was the guy, right? Yeah. I believe that he decided to come again. Unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's insane. No. Is he in that car? Yeah, but I don't want you to say anything to him. I'd like to take a picture of him. He'll have pictures. He'll have, he'll have a booking photo. Okay. Can, can, <laughs> can you send me that? Because I'd like to share that with some people. Uh, there's wow. more than one person involved. He's the one that seems to be the most... Well, he's definitely the one that I saw on camera last week. He's got that beard. He's got that... And the way he walks. Feature, yep. Yep. So that's going to be him from that. That, that woman that was there, mm -hmm. she, she's involved. She was involved. She came. They came to get my Lock 15 horse Suzuki. They had opened. They cleared the bed to put that in, and my my trolling motor. They both had have locks on them, which they were going to cut with the. They had they had keys to the house, uh, or the that garage that they had stolen on the first day. That's the connection. So what what happened to this guy? Okay, so there's multiple people involved, and they for some reason they just really want to get into this house. It sounds like he had a Suzuki. And something else. So this guy, not rich, but he's got some stuff that they could probably sell. My guess, they're drug addicts. I feel like, I mean, I could be wrong. I'm just throwing a random number out there without looking at any actual stats. But I feel like 70 to 75 plus percent of burglaries are because somebody's addicted to something. And they're trying to seek either money or something they can sell for money. And it's, it's extremely sad because people just you throw your lives away. And not only that, but when you succeed, you're ruining other people's lives and taking stuff that they've worked really hard for. Don't don't be those kind of people. Uh, he's gonna be going to jail. He's on probation, so he'll be held with probation hold, and he's got a warrant out of Juneau County. So he'll be here for a while. He's not going anywhere anytime okay. soon. According to reports, he admitted he was broke is. and needed money to support his drug addiction. There it is. It should also be known he has an extensive criminal history, including one case where he was convicted of felony burglary in 2021. Christopher was charged with felony counts of burglary, times three, attempted fraud against a financial institution, forgery, uttering, criminal damage to property, and stalking, all as a repeater. <laughs> well, his cash bond was set at $1,000. That's wild. About two months later, he oh. was arrested again for burglary, theft, and criminal damage to property. Again, his cash Chris. bond was set at $1,000. what are we doing, Chris? A week passed, and he was arrested a third time for burglary and theft yet again. This time, he was given a signature bond set at $10,000. Yo, Chris. Chris, what are we doing with our life, Chris? What are we doing with our life? He, he, he tried to rob this place three different times or four times or however many times it had been there. Gets arrested. 
When he gets out, a week later, he gets arrested. Gets out, a week later, he gets arrested. Gets out, a week later, he gets arrested. At some point, you've got to decide that you're just not good at this. You're, I, I understand that you, you need to do all this and you're trying to get money for drugs, but you're clearly not good at it. I mean, not that you should do it regardless if you're good at it or not, because you shouldn't be stealing from people, but you, you are clearly not good at this. This is not your forte. You, you should not be a thief at all, ever. I, I, it's wild to me. Wow. I, I mean, listen, I, like I know I have a very addictive personality. I get addicted to different foods that I eat. Like I eat a food I like, I want to just keep going back and getting more and more and more and more. So I, I, I understand that like if I did some hard drugs, I probably would never escape it. I don't think I'd ever escape it. So I'm had that, but I also knew that about myself. And so I purposely never tried any hard drugs. And even then I still don't feel like there's any benefit in trying them anyway. It's just dangerous. So I don't know. Anybody out there that's watching this that that may be addicted to drugs still, maybe you're not stealing from people, maybe you just you have the means to buy it. Try to get yourself out of that lifestyle because if something ever changes, you can become this guy. Um it may not feel that way, but it just takes the right circumstances to become that guy. And anybody that's gotten through their drug addiction, I salute to you because it's not easy. It it, I, it can't be easy. I, you know, I I quit smoking weed. That was the hardest thing that I've ever done. As far as like the hardest drug that I've ever done. Quitting wasn't actually all, it was hard because I, I smoked for so long and I didn't want to smoke probably for like the past three, four years that I smoked, but I just kept going down that rabbit hole. And that was just weed. Not even really with physical withdrawals, just kind of some mental ones, maybe a couple little minor physical ones. And uh, I'm probably a month and a half out of it now and I'm super happy. I get to save money. I get to, I, I'm more awake and, and like just, just more productive in general. So yeah. Get your life together sooner than later, man. Life is too short to uh to just play this ring around the rosy with the police in jail, and it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. I'll catch you next video, homie.